what is up guys welcome back to my channel so we're here at a ta in where are we we're in nashville tennessee headed to college dale tennessee which is about 20 minutes away from chattanooga tennessee i know this is a whole lot of tennessee talk but but yeah that's where we're at um i'm just filming right here in the truck hopefully i have some background footage these next few videos might have a lot of random background footage um, due to, you know, just giving you guys some type of eye candy so you're not just staring at me sitting in the seat of the truck. But um, I did invest in a GoPro so I can get some time lapse for you guys while I'm out here on the road, especially with this cold weather coming in where sh we should be seeing a lot, a lot of snow coming up here shortly. Um, we are here stopped in Nashville, Tennessee due to a light being out burnt out so i had to call breakdown while i was fueling i saw that it was burnt out so i was like dang um let me go ahead and give breakdown a call see what they want us to do they told us to just post it here wait till there's an available available spot here at the um shop at the ta and i called the ta to see how long of a wait it is it's they said it's about a four to six hour wait so yeah, we were, we were about two hours away from delivering, so that kind of messed a few things up, but not, not, it didn't mess it up too bad, because in four to six hours, it's going to be like midnight or so, maybe like one in the morning, and then, so if we deliver in two hours, it's going to be like three in the morning, four in the morning, and we have a pickup at one in the afternoon, so that gives us like five hours or four hours to, uh, well, no, sorry, it gives us like seven hours to go and pick up still. So we're still good on time. Gives us a little bit more time to rest, if anything. And so we're gonna go pick up in Dracut, I'm sorry, in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. And then from there, we're going to Dracut, Massachusetts. I'm not too sure how far Knoxville is, but from where we're delivering Dracut, Massachusetts, it's about 1,100 miles. So that's some good miles that we're gonna be putting in and if you guys are new to the channel do not forget to subscribe we're closing in on a thousand subscribers so make sure you guys subscribe um i'm also gonna be super trying to push my social media super hard as far as uh, my facebook page and my instagram and being a lot more active on there and i think i think uh I also really want to be pushing out these videos, but it's just, it's going to be kind of hard because I'm telling you guys, this trucking life is, uh, it, it catches up to you and you're just busy and, and when you're not busy, you just kind of want to rest or when you're not resting, you just, I don't know, it takes a lot of discipline to keep pushing out these videos and not want to, you know, relax and do all these other things, so hopefully this video makes it out to you guys on the 29th of November and and yeah we keep going from here i i wanted to start this thing like the monday miles or whatever but i just you know just discipline i'm telling you i'm not <laughs> i'm just not disciplined enough to want to make the videos i guess it's just not as amusing to me but i i do like the interactions with you guys so i think that's what keeps on keeps on making me want to come back so Hopefully I can do this and hopefully I can keep pushing and getting you guys uh, some content. But currently our miles are 1,113,000, I'm sorry, 113,107. So we finally hit the uh, six, digit, six digit margin as far as the truck goes. Cause we picked this truck up when it had 67,000 miles and it was in Albuquerque, they flew us out. We we're super excited to get this truck. And yeah, I mean, look at, we've already put like 30, that's like oh, damn near 50,000 miles. So we're doing pretty good with uh, this truck. I was doing some math with Aiden and currently me and, me and Aiden are getting paid like 20, $21 an hour. And that's us taking it slow, like taking breaks and eating, dining in a lot while we're in the truck um and when me and Noah were on the truck we were me and Noah were hustling it hard and we were making like 30 dollars an hour so that 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 
breaks it down to about like 1300 a week 1400 a week that me and Noel were making right now me and Aiden are making around like eight to nine hundred dollars a week and that's when me and Noel were making like 40 cents 44 cents a mile and right now me and Aiden are hitting like damn near 60 mile 60 dog 60 cents a mile sorry for that confusion but but yeah so we're kind of doing really bad but um we talked it over and we're gonna try hitting this hard so we can get our average higher especially since we don't plan to take as many breaks um from here till may like i think it's may 20th or something that we're gonna take like a nine day break we're gonna be going on a cruise hopefully if everything plays out right so here till then i don't know hopefully we take a combined a combined amount of days of like 10 days maybe so like for these next four months four or five months hopefully we take like less than 15 days off and with that being said that should be a lot of uh saving that we can do and you know learning the road a little bit more than we already do and savings the biggest thing for us to be honest right now we got a loan so we picked up in so we deadheaded from fort worth to grandy or gendry arkansas or something like that so it was about 350 mile deadhead i drove the whole way and then we switched as soon as we got to the shipper the shipper needed us to get two straps and to get a trailer washout because it had shavings and it needed to be food grade and we and so we thought we were just gonna pick up and take off but we're picking up for little debbie's you know the pastry company and yeah they had us doing a bunch of running back and forth like we didn't have the strap so i had to go to the loves 11 miles away to go get the strap so they're gonna pay us for 22 miles worth and then the straps that i paid for and then i went back and then the security guard told us that we needed a washout so aiden drove all the way to joplin missouri from gendry to go get a washout he fueled while he was over there in joplin and then he came back and then he got the load and then now we're here and so we're about like 500 miles into the run and the lights out so I am getting it fixed here like I told you in the beginning and yeah hopefully I'll I'm gonna I'm gonna put out another video tomorrow and you guys know what happened but I'm gonna you know I'm just gonna try updating you guys daily and then you guys know what's up with the miles breakdown like if anything happens like just our daily i guess drama or whatever you want to call it like our daily tasks and if you guys have any questions make sure you guys drop them down below i'll be going over them i also want to include like like answering someone's comment every video that i do just to make it interesting our scale so we scaled pretty heavy it was about 30 33 000 pounds something like that our steer axles were 11,120 pounds. Our drive axles were 26,580 pounds. And then our trailer axle was 29,120. So pretty evenly distributed. And yeah, if you guys don't know, we usually get these cat scales every time we're over 20,000 pounds or, or every time we're around 20 to 25,000 pounds or more. I think like, I think the rule of thumb is like if it's more than 25,000 pounds then for sure get a scale ticket but um, me and Aiden usually we usually get them whenever we're over 20,000 pounds but I think I'm gonna just start doing them every trip because I, mean, I think that's like the safest bet unless you have like a 600 pound load but that doesn't happen too often but other than that stay tuned you guys and i think that's all i want to tell you yeah i can't think of anything else i need to tell you so yeah i'll talk to y'all in the next one peace